Hi everyone, Abby here, the Greek Goddess of Great Reading. Today I'll be reviewing Soldier, the third book in the Talon Saga by Julie Kagawa. The price of freedom is everything. When forced to choose between safety with the dragon organization Talon and being hunted forever as an outcast, Ember Hill chose to stand with Riley and his band of rogue dragons rather than become an assassin for Talon. She's lost any contact with her twin brother Dante, a Talon devotee, as well as Garrett, the former enemy soldier who challenged her beliefs about her human side. As Ember and Riley hide and regroup to fight another day, Garrett journeys alone to the United Kingdom, birthplace of the ancient and secret order of St. George, to spy on his former brothers and uncover deadly and shocking secrets that will shake the foundations of dragons and dragon slayers alike and place them all in imminent danger as Talon's new order rises. So I have already read the first two books in this series and I have reviewed both of them on this channel so I will link both the first book Talon and the second book Rogue in my description below but if you guys haven't read those first two books there will be spoilers in this review for those first two books so if you haven't read them yet I suggest you not watch this review for the time being and go catch up. So this book picked up not too long after the end of the events in the last book and to be honest my memory's a little foggy with them because I read it so long ago and since then I've read so many different books that things just kind of get jumbled up a bit and to be honest Rogue wasn't my favorite book just because I was a little not impressed with Riley and Garrett and how they were acting towards Ember and it just kind of annoyed me so a lot of the events of that book are very hazy. But this book, however, I really enjoyed. I found that I was reading the book and sometimes when I don't like a book, I am reading the words, but I'm not actually registering them. I'm just reading them to kind of get through the page. And then sometimes I'll realize I did that, so I have to go back and reread it and actually sort of process what is happening. I found that this book I was just reading, reading, reading and I was processing everything. So that to me is a good indication that I really liked a, a, any book and this book especially. It was really cool to see Garrett go off on his own and do his own sort of espionage on St. George and I liked who he met. Um, he met a pretty cool character that I think everybody will like once they read this book and she is kind of friend, kind of foe, but I'm sure you'll like her nonetheless. She's a very interesting character. And that's all I'll say about her. Just a hint, if any of you were following Julie Kagawa's sort of giveaway of a different dragon uh, clay sculpture every week that came out before Soldier came out with the release, then you will kind of have an idea of who this new character might be. And in this book, Ember struggles with her emotions and feelings for both Riley and Garrett, because Riley is a dragon and she's a dragon, and but Garrett for some reason just pulls to her. And, and since he's gone though, her dragon side is much more able to come out because Riley is the only one there and Garrett's not kind of pulling at her as much as he was. She does miss him, but you can clearly tell that at some point it seems like her mind is made up to be with Riley, and you're kind of thinking, okay, this is it, she's made her decision, but <laughs> throughout the book you kind of <laughs> see what happens, and that's not necessarily the case, unfortunately. This is why I hate love triangles, because a decision is very rarely made, and when it is it's done with so much anguish. I understand for sure because I've definitely been in a position where I have like two guys because they just kind of speak to me in different ways but at a certain point you need to make a decision and Ember's decision is gonna come pretty quickly I think and maybe some events in this book that happen will spur on that decision to be made and it might be what you expect but it might not be what you expect at all. That's all I'm saying, because I feel like I'm giving a lot away even though I'm not saying anything, but uh, just read, you just have to read the book. 
I liked looking into Garrett's past and how he started with the Order um, and his relationship with different people in the Order, his almost father figure, uh, I believe Gabriel St. Martin was his name, and how he brought him up to be a soldier of St. George and how he met Tristan, his partner, and their relationship and how that formed. It was really cool to see. It's nice to see all all of their origin stories like in Rogue seeing Riley's origin story was pretty cool and how he started with Talon and it was the same with Garrett in uh, Soldier. The next book in the series is called Legion and after what happened at the end of this book Major I don't think it's a cliffhanger I think it's pretty obvious what's happened and what's going to happen and like I guess yeah, you just, you want to keep reading. Yeah, it's a cliffhanger, sure. But you want to keep reading any book regardless, even if there's not a big sort of bomb thrown on you at the end of the book. But Julie Kagawa is just amazing at doing those and making her readers hate her but love her at the same time and just want to keep reading her books. It's very good for her numbers. The Legion is the next book coming out, so I don't know if that's going to be kind of how the last two books were in that there are flashbacks to Riley's past and, and then flashbacks to Garrett's, but something big is going to happen. Legion just stands large, and I have a feeling what Dante and Talon were cooking up in this book is going to come to light, and it's going to shock everybody and cause a lot of havoc, and I just can't wait for it. So if you guys haven't read Soldier by Julie Kakawa, I highly suggest you pick it up at a bookstore near you. Dragons, love triangles, swooning romance, action, some cool characters, and some awful, awful choices made on some people's behalf. Dante, yeah. I think you'll like it. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm reading next, but my next video will be a book haul video because my sister recently went to and volunteered at a Toronto book festival called the Festival of Trees and she got me lots and lots of books, which is great. That means I don't have to go buy any because I am a little broke right now. But I will show you guys what I'll be reading in that video, so be on the lookout for that. My Twitter, website, and Instagram are linked in the bio below. Hit subscribe if you guys like what you see and want to see more videos by me. I'm Evie, the Greek goddess of great reading, and until next time, guys, keep reading.